Um, so, you know, I think, I think it's, it's interesting too, because the world, as we look at these big companies is all sort of adjusting and trying to figure out what to make of all of it. And we saw evidence of that this week with NVIDIA um, triggering a stock market freak out in the absolute most bizarre way possible by hitting their numbers. Yes. But, but not, not blowing them out the window, like they are out, you know, blowing them, blowing the doors off of, of the numbers like they had been doing in the past. And that was enough to set, create this sell off. And so there was this article in Vox talking about like, what does this mean to the market? And I found it almost re- bordering on ridiculous um, because one company should not have this much effect on the stock market, on the economy as a whole. And I think it speaks to just, you know, whether we're in an AI bubble or not, just to how much, how many eggs we are putting, our collective eggs in this AI basket. And so I know what your thought on this whole episode was. So this is going to be pretty random, but uh, one of my favorite uh, cartoons uh, on the Cartoon Network, there's this uh, uh, cartoon called Metalocalypse. And it was about a band that had basically become the most powerful economic force in the world. And every time the drummer moved to Pinky, or the lead singer missang a word in a gig, you know, it would completely tank the entire economy. And that's where I feel like we're right we're at right now. It's like NVIDIA, you know, the moment that Jensen Huang says and instead of if, or you know, extends a word half a second too long in a press release, suddenly, you know, things are collapsing and it's really hard to tell why. There are a few things we do know about the company. There is a centralization of revenue where basically four companies are spending 40 to 50%, uh, are making up 40 to 50% of the revenue. And that is very top heavy and very risky in theory. But we also know that for the next two or three years, these spend category, these spend patterns are probably going to continue. It's hard to see that not happening. And I feel like anybody that's freaking out about any announcements being made right now it's just really touchy, frankly. There's nothing unexpected or unpredictable about anything that NVIDIA is saying right now to a reasonable human being. What, what I think is interesting, and something is what the article points out, and I think it's really what this is, is that, that NVIDIA is increasingly becoming a barometer for the entire AI sector. Mm-hmm. And there's a whole bunch of people who, particularly in the stock market, right, or the investor community, that just don't understand any of this technology. They have no idea what any of this really means. And all they know is NVIDIA was producing, they'd, they'd set expectations at X and they were doing two and three X. And now suddenly it's not. And they go, oh no, that must mean that everything is, is bad. It's like this proxy thing. And I think that's really the, the challenge because there is so much unknown about this and particularly outside. I mean, even in tech, most people, I mean, I talk to people in tech all the time who really don't have a clue how all this technology is working. I don't, I mean, I barely understand it, right? And so mm-hmm. so you now multiply that out and I think that's what you're seeing happening. And I think it's a, it's, it is a point of concern, at least in so far as, as we've talked about, we know we're at the beginning of this. We know this is a very long road. There's gonna be lots of ups and downs. We're gonna go through the trough of delus- disillusionment. We may already be in it, you know? And, and so the, the potential for these wild swings, I think, are, you know, are potentially challenging. Um.